Today he finds us back on the river. We're going to do a little river hunting today. I'm looking for Civil War relics, primarily artillery shells, not only the cannonballs, but the you know elongated shells as well. This is a really cool spot. I have high hopes. I didn't start the video at the beginning because I wanted to find something first or at least see if I could find something because it's nothing more frustrating to have an introduction with no video to go with it. So yeah, as you can guess, I have something because you're watching this. What we're hunting with today is the uh, Garrett AT Max and I have it set up on zero mode. Discrimination around uh, 32, so we'll hear all the cannonballs and most of the bigger iron like bayonets and um, you know gun barrels. You can hear you can hear it beeping. That is because there's an electric fence behind me, and that is the pulses going through the electric fence. Pretty much no matter what kind of metal tech you have, if you're hunting near a live electric fence, you're gonna hear those pulses. Doesn't bother me a bit because we have a shell. Do you see it? I don't exactly see it. I heard it and I looked down and I could see it. So there is one here. It was, yeah, there it is, I can see it from there, okay. Do you see it from here? Probably not because of the glare. I'm gonna run the machine over it to show you can share in the excitement. That's reading a little lower than I'm used to on the AT Gold, but it might be because it's um, not a really big shell. So let's go into water and take a peek. What do you say? I have not picked it up, nor have I touched it, but I can see clearly from here. Hold your breath. That thing beautiful or what? Now, I would normally just go down and grab it, but since, well, I guess I am kind of wet, so let's just go ahead and grab it. I was gonna grab the pick and be lazy, but let's go underwater. Okay, this time I really am gonna hold my breath, and I want you to as well. Hold your breath again. There she is. This is part of a Hotchkiss shell. Uh, there's actually two more pieces that would go to it. There's a lead band right here where my thumb is, and there's a uh, metal or iron base cup. But that's this has been fired, so it's missing. That went flying off into the fields or the river here somewhere. But it's still a really, really neat find. My first shell of the year. If you were a fisherman coming down this creek, you could have looked down and seen that. All right, number one for the year. Let's see if we can bump it up into the double digits today. <laughs> I have hopes. I want to see something weird. I hope so because I'm going to show it to you. I can, I can kind of, see, I can see the well. I can see the bottom really well here because the water's clear, and I could look down. I could see another shell, look just like another one of those Hotchkiss shells. So I went over and ran my machine over it, and it wasn't a peep to be heard. And I want to show you what I just experienced and why. I was moving in this direction over there toward the bank and I looked and saw, and we can see that shell right there. Can you see it? I'm going to let you take a quick peek. Although not exactly, it looks a lot like a Hotchkiss, just like I just found, maybe a little bit bigger. Well, ran the machine over it, no sound, guess what? It's a rock. <laughs> Give me a little bit of a pitter-pat right here, but it's a rock. I'll run the machine over and let you hear, and the sounds of silence. I have a pretty decent signal here. It's kind of jumping up a little higher than I like to hear. Uh, but I have not heard any cannonball sounds for about 100 yards or 100 meters on this creek. Tons of trash. In fact, there's an old car out here I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, what I'm doing is just kind of working up the bank. But anyway, let's get back to this signal. I'm looking down. I can't see it, so we're going to have to poke it with the pick. You won't have to hold your breath on this one, but it's uh, right in here. I'll let you listen to it. It's, it's a little scratchier and it's a little higher than I like, but it's got that iron sound and it's down underneath that rock somewhere. What we'll do is we'll grab the pick and poke that a little bit and see if we can uh, narrow down the where it is. I'm, I'm afraid it's probably buried underneath those rocks, yeah. 
So let's go ahead and move a few rocks with my foot or the pick and uh, we'll get underneath. What do you say? Probably moved enough that we can get the magnet on it now. So that's really, yeah, I can feel it with the magnet. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see anything, but yeah, it's up under the big rock a little bit. I can't get a good hold on it. So, what I'm going to do is turn the camera off. And I'm probably after going to go underwater a little bit and kind of pull around a little bit with this hand with the glove on. So I do have a glove on. And I'll let you see what it is when I'm done. Well, I can feel it nice and solid with the pick, but I can't grab it and I can't see what it is. So we're going to have to go under with a mask. I'm going to clean this off a little bit. <laughs> then we'll go under together. I have no idea what it is. A bald eagle just flew right over us, but he's already around the bend, so we're not going to get to see him. Okay, let's go take a peek. Um, I couldn't pull it up with a magnet, but I can see that I have it partially uncovered. It could be a shell, but I'm not positive. All right, hold your breath, just like Mr. Bo. I'm not sure I had the camera on when I would just went down and look. Uh, but that signal does appear to be a shell. It's kind of rounded. I can't tell what kind, but I'm about 85% sure it's a shell now. It's really stuck in the rocks. Let's go down and take one more look just in case I didn't get it on film the last time. Not that this is actually filmed, but I want you guys to see it. It's pretty exciting. <sighs> All right, deep breath. <gasps> Yeah, I'm a hundred percent on that now. That is definitely a shell. I can see in the tip of it, you can see where the fuse is. So probably a parrot. Could be a shankle, but it looks a, not a shankle, but a, a hotchkiss. But it looks a little bigger, so probably a parrot. I'm gonna turn the camera off. Dig it out with both hands, then we'll take a look at it. I still haven't been able to pull it out because it's really cemented in place, but I have it uncovered now. You can really see it, and it's kind of cool. So I wanted to share that sight with you because that's that's just really cool. I mean, that's what that's why I'm here to see things like that and have that burned into my memory. It's a beauty. All right, um, we're gonna go under and take a quick peek at it together. I'm gonna use a snorkel though, so I may not have to hold my breath. If you notice but it's actually a lot bigger than the uh, normal ones that I find this is what they would call a 20 pounder for a bigger uh, cannon <sighs> so I don't find too many of those it's amazing how they get wedged up under the rock like that all right see if we reach out and grab it all right here we go oh yeah look at that the fuse is no longer inside so it's completely inert <sighs> wow that's a beauty <sighs> Nice. Now, so you can see the uh, um, lathe dimple on the bottom here, that little hole in the middle. So that could vary. It's probably a Confederate shell, I would imagine. Confederate 20 pounder. Oh, that's a beautiful shell right there, isn't it? Wow. Look how much bigger it is than the little Hotchkiss that I have in here. Look at that. Look at the size difference in those two. Wow. Two shells though, that's awesome. Two shells in one day. First two of the year. I think there could be a lot more in here. At least I'm hoping. We're gonna have to take our time though. Like I said, there's a lot of trash and there are, these things are up under these rocks too. It's raining. <laughs> it's, I can't believe it's raining. 
Uh, I, we don't care. Um, one of the reasons I can't really do a lot of camera work for you too is that because they're under the rocks, I need both hands to dig. And uh, it's really hard to hold the camera in. Of course, that one was really cloudy anyway. I kept having to wait for it to clear out. But let's go ahead and work our way up along the edge of these rocks and see if we can find another one. Had a big signal here, but it was pretty uh, deep. It's about, uh, not over my head there, but I'm getting pretty close. And I'm not sure what it is. I guess it's part of a car or something. What do you think? Don't know why it's on this little creek or how it got here, unless it was attached to something that washed down in a flood. Uh, if you know what it is, let me know. I'm kind of interested in it. I probably am not going to bring it home with me, though. Nah, I'm not going to bring it home with me. It's too heavy. No, I don't think it's very old either. I'll put it right back where we found it. There she goes. This is kind of an interesting little thing here. Um, you see these little piles of rocks behind me. These are actually nests that were made by fish. Fall fish. It's a type of fish that, uh, you know, in freshwater rivers around here. And uh, they pick up little pebbles and they make these pyramids or these piles underwater. Now the strange thing about these is that they're way out of the water. So I guess the fall fish must have made these nests when the river was flooded or much, much higher than it is today. I'm still working my way up along the bank here and I'm gonna get back out in the main part of the, the main channel of the river looking for shells. But uh, I just wanted to show you this. These piles of rocks were put here by a fish. <laughs> There's a nest here, and there's a nest here. Isn't that weird? There's actually a couple I saw coming up through here too that are, are still underwater, but this must have been made when the river was at least a foot or two higher than it is today. I've never seen them that far out of the water before. I just thought it was kind of weird. So much trash in here. I haven't found anything else. I'm finding a lot of old, old cans, but it's just really junky, so. We're going to be back in the river here in just a couple minutes and hopefully find a few more shells. Well, I just found an anchor. I guess I'll go ahead and carry this one out. Since we can just put it in the boat. <laughs> Jeez, pretty heavy, especially with the pick on the end of it. All right, ah, there's my pick. Sounds like it could be something here. Uh, it's definitely iron. Right in there. It's buried under the rocks a ways. I'm not getting a good feel. It's reading a little lower than they normally would if it was a cannonball. But it's a pretty solid signal, so let's go ahead and dig that out a little bit. What do you say? Did you see anything? I can't see anything from up here. Let me get my uh, pick and we'll see if the magnet can grab something. There might be something right there though. Is that a ball? No, that's not a ball. Let's grab the pick. Come here, little buddy. All right, now we should, oops. Hey, let go. <laughs> Jeez. All right, now we should be able to uh, tell exactly where it is. I know it's iron, so let's see what the pick sticks to. It's a shell. It's another one. Oh, awesome. That's a Hotchkiss. So wait again that would be in uh, three pieces it's missing the two uh, two ends the uh, lead sabot and the iron cup oh that's awesome <laughs> three shells in one day the first three shells of the year that's pretty good right there I'm happy my happy camper so I have a reading here that's very similar to the last reading we had where we just found that top of that Hotchkiss. Now, I can look down, I can see rocks, but I can't see any shells or other pieces of iron. But I know it's iron. Go ahead and uh, take a listen to it. it. Looks like a shell there, but that's actually a rock. That looks like... <laughs> Maybe that is a... I don't know what that is. I thought that was a rock, but... I don't think that's what I heard before. Is it? That thing right there where the loop is. 
I thought it was in front of it, but that might actually be it. Maybe that is a shell. Nah, it doesn't look like it, does it? I'm pretty sure that shell looking thing is actually a rock and that the signal is actually underneath it, but we're going to find out. And you're going to see what it is before I do. Because I'm not going underwater, but you are. You're ready? Look at that poor little crawdad right there. That's his house. I'll have to scare him out of there. Hopefully he swam off, but let's go at it with a pick now, the uh, magnet rather. All right, I still underneath those rocks a ways. So what I'm gonna have to do is go ahead and scrape at it a little bit with the blade, maybe kick at it with the feet a little bit, and then we'll take another peek. Okay, well I moved some of the rocks. Still can't see it, but it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I still don't see it though, do you? Well, that's definitely not a shell. <laughs> I think it looks like a windshield wiper. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> oh well, can't win them all, I guess. Well, I just found somebody's anchor. You can see it's got a rope attached, but do you know what it is? It's made out of iron. It's got an eye in the end. And that is a window weight. This is a weight that they would use to counterbalance the old big heavy windows. It would This uh, iron piece would actually be in a wall on a rope attached to the window by a pulley that would allow you to raise and lower the window much, much easier. These are very common in the old days when they had big, heavy windows. Not so much anymore. So I have another nice, really nice signal here. Unfortunately for you guys, it's kind of deep, so I won't be able to uh, like expose it and show it to you with a camera at the same time because I'm going to have to go under and hold myself underwater with a rock or something. Uh, I'm not quite to it, but I'm going to give you a peek at it, and I'm going to try to touch it with a magnet Although I don't think I'm going to be able to yet. I think it's still a little bit deeper. Grab my machine here so you can listen to it. It's, see, that's a nice solid shell. So, yeah, that's a nice solid sound. But I can't see anything right there. And I've been picking at it with a pick and my feet. Let me grab my pick real quick. <laughs> and we'll see if we can get the magnet stuck to it. It's a little bit of iron stuff down there. Uh, you can see there's like a, a nail and a little piece of sheet iron that wasn't on there when we started. So there's definitely a lot of junk in here. Where is it? Okay, we're up here. We're gonna put you underwater. Let me know if you see it. See, there's no attraction whatsoever to that magnet yet, so it's down at least another probably three to five inches. But oh, we're almost there. I'm going to put the camera away. We're going to put the mask and snorkel back on, try to get it exposed, and we'll take a peek at it together before I pull it up. Well, I have it uncovered somewhat, and uh, it's definitely not a cannonball. It's a piece of pipe, but it could be a musket. <laughs> so but it's definitely pipe shape. It's uh, about the right length for a musket, I think. Because I checked it with the metal detector, but it's under a bunch of rocks. I cannot pry it up. We may work on it a little bit, but we might just go back looking for more shells because I'd rather find shells right now. Let's go take a quick peek at it, though, together. Let's do it. That's 
definitely the right diameter. I might work on that for a little bit. Um, I'll let you know. I just wish it was a little bit shallow. <laughs> More shallow. <laughs> ah, my first cicada of the season. Hear it? That buzzing noise in the background. Cicada. They're awesome. Just dug an old shovel. I don't know how old it is. Probably not that old. Uh, I didn't get to show it to you because I'm in a really muddy area. I haven't finished that piece of pipe or musket or whatever it is. I kind of gave up on it for a little bit. Uh, but we're going to go back here in a few minutes. I just wanted to uh, try to find another shell real quick. <laughs> not having any luck. So I'm back up to the musket barrel and uh, I'm not seeing any type of taper on it. So I don't think it actually is a musket barrel. I suspect it's just a piece of pipe. Let's go down and take a last look at it. It's really kind of hard to dig because it's in these hard cobbles that are all cemented together. So I might give up on it. But uh, again, I think it's just a piece of pipe because there's no taper. Let's go take a look at it. Together. I may dig on that a little bit more. I don't have high hopes for it though. Um, I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a rest and just go up along the shallow water for a while. <sighs> if we don't get it today, we'll come back another day. So I've got a decent signal here and I started some excavating already. Let's let you listen to it. Nice solid signal. And as I'm looking down in there, I can see what appears to be the curvature of a shell. Now, I don't know if it is for sure because I haven't been down there to look. So, let's go look together. Are you guys game? I am because I'm pretty sure this is a shell. Been fooled a bunch in the last hour or so, but I think this is, I think this is one. Alrighty. We are ready. <gasps> Oh, sorry about the beeping on the machine, but it's just kind of floating behind me. And I'm pretty sure that's a shell. It might be an exploded one. I couldn't tell for sure. You might have been able to see. I don't know. All right, I think we can get it this time. Starting to clear up a little bit. Uh, no, it's probably not exploded. Still wedged in the rocks. I might take another two tries. All right, let's give it a shot. We're getting closer. Ah. Ah. Always should clear it up a little bit so you can get a nice good peek at it. I think it's gonna be a pretty one. I'm pretty sure it's a parrot. I'll wait till it clears up a little bit. We'll uh, hunt around here just a few minutes and then we'll come right back to it. All right, I think that's cleared up enough for us to get back in there again. Hold your breath. Alright, I got a pride loose. I haven't looked at it yet, but it looks like to be uh, like a regular just like 10 pound parrot. Alright, let's go grab it. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than the other one. Nice. Still has the fuse in it. 
think I might have had a paper time fuse, in which case I'll be able to just poke a hole right down through there, no problem. And that's a nice parrot right there. Is that number four? I think. Let's <laughs> take the boat down. The wind's blowing it away. Yeah, it looks like four shells so far today and an anchor. Some other junk. Alright, all right, let's see what we can do. Well, that's kind of curious. This shell here, you can see the uh, threads on the inside, so it didn't have a wood fuse. That's curious. Why there's no fuse in there? Should be a fuse in that one. That looks burned, doesn't it? How red that is. Oh well. It's plenty of time for looking at them when we get home, right? Let's keep digging. It's a baby snapper. Let's go check him out. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. Uh, I've been searching around for about another two hours, have not found anything else, but the wind's picked up and there's some thunderstorms coming. I can hear the rumbles in the distance. So, let's look at what we found today. These are the best finds. I have four artillery shells. Grab my boat here real quick, sorry about that. I have four artillery shells. I have a big old 20 pound parrot. A normal size, which we would call a 10 pounder or so, but they don't weigh quite that much. And two of these Hotchkiss, four shells in one day. My first day of artillery shell hunting this year. So we're off to a good start, although a late start. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I took some good footage. I think I did. I mean, water is pretty clear. And uh, we're going to head out again tomorrow. We're not sure if we're going to do artillery. Not coming here. I have another idea for some artillery shells. But I also have an idea for a camp so, uh, along the waterway. So we might go do that instead. Not sure which yet, but we'll see you then. Have a good one.